My name is Richard Saul, Xiao Rei Chung. I'm the general manager of the Waldorf Astoria Shanghai, and I first arrived here in 2003. Well, since I arrived, there's been tremendous change in Shanghai. Uh, back then, the city was already immense, but that was 18 years ago, and we've seen so much develop in the city. It's quite extraordinary to see how Shanghai has continually evolved, and you, it continues today. Well, the building has a rich history, all the way back to 1910 with the uh, Shanghai Club. But in more contemporary times, uh, a lot of people who are now uh, seniors would know it as the Dongfeng Hotel, or perhaps as the KFC restaurant, which is located in what is now our Long Bar, the original Long Bar of the Shanghai Club. So we tell our guests uh, all about it through our communications and, and stories because it's unique. And most of our guests are locals. We want them to be aware of the history and to be proud of it. All day, people come through our building because it is one of the, one of the bun buildings that, that's accessible to the public, whereas some of the buildings are, are still banks and so on. So they, they like to come in and, and see the grandeur of the historic building. You know, as a hotel, we welcome everybody. Every time I walk out on the Bund, um, I think mesmerizing is the word. You have to stop, catch your breath for a moment. You look across and you see modernity, modern skyscrapers and commercial buildings. And then you look left, up and down the Bund, and you see history. And you see people everywhere engaging in this modern and historical. And in between the river, you see all the trade and commercial vessels passing between. It's extraordinary. So for me, that one word is mesmerizing. Well, the pandemic has been quite a journey. And of course, we're still in the midst of it, uh, at least overseas. So of course, we, we know that it all it happened here first. Um, and yes, I, I was worried too. But the response in China was quite impressive. Uh, amazing, in fact. Um, and this helped to get everything under control quickly um, versus the, vest, the rest of the world that has had difficulty coming to terms with it and where perhaps their central government hasn't stepped in when they could have and should have to control um, the, the public reaction. So I think China's done an amazing job in hindsight and we just hope that uh, the, the worst is behind us. Uh, and we trust in the government that they have our best interests at heart uh, and I think it's great that we can get around today in the relative safety um, that we enjoy. I think it's the most incredible dynamic city full of opportunities. Um, we also had two children who were born here the first time we were here. Both our kids were born here, but we went away for 10 years. So we wanted to come back so that they could advance their Chinese language skills. That was for the kids. And then for me professionally, you know, there's so much opportunity here in China. So this is what brought us back. I think what I like about Shanghai is the variety of Shanghai. The restaurant scene is, is really interesting. Um, art scene can be interesting, museums. Um, there's a lot to do here. Uh, so, and, and I find it's getting easier and easier as a foreigner to live here in Shanghai. And, and in a way, I, I hope that the rest of the world comes to Shanghai, more of the world comes and sees for themselves. Uh, what a great city it is and, and what an amazing country China is. I like Shanghai. Ala Huishi Shanghai.